I've tried these. Otherwise, it's our second lap with the car. It's still a test phase because we rebuilt it over over the winter, so we need to work on that uh, on the brake pads. About these wheels yet? About what? Let me turn the music off. Have we done a post about these wheels yet? Um, not sure. Mm. Your size? 19s. They do 19s now. So, because I was mentioning, haven't got the 18 inch PS4S yet for BMW size, mm -hmm. we can't run two sets of 18, so we've got 19s for the M4 and the M2. That's why they're black at the moment. Nice. So, on the first lap video of the year, not only did I cry, but also BMW cried, or it's brakes. When you broke hard, it was... When you would... Yeah, exactly. And since we put endless pads in there, we asked endless, is this normal? And they said, you should probably look if you have some pad deposit on the discs from the old pad, which causes the brakes to squeal. So what we're going to do now is take the brake discs off, sand them, make sure that there is no deposit on it, and they gave us also some instructions to, I don't know, how would you describe it with the pet with the water? There is some process to... Yeah, um, I've never seen this before, but obviously Endless are brake specialists, so I'll take their advice. You take the pads out, put some water on the surface and just go... Yep, so, just like that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, let's just give it a go and see, see what Let's do it, and after that do a lap and test it. Those are an S, uh, no, N39S, right? Yep. I guess we just do this. And then just make a fire. <laughs> Ten hours later. I don't know how long we need to do this for and if it needs to be oscillating one way, I guess like this. Oh nice, yes we also did the back side, just because it's not in the video doesn't mean it didn't happen. And now the same for the other side, but basically things start to get wrong, so fast forward to the lab. One and a half degrees. Ah, uh, we'll take it easy. All right, let's go and see. We had a bit of snow. <laughs> I mean, I know the wet line, but what about the snow line? <laughs> Is that a safety car? <laughs> yep. <laughs> And you can see that it was pretty cold, so we're not only gonna take it easy and take the wet line, but also the snow line. It would be cool if it's actually gonna be snowing on track. <laughs> Had it once. So, the most important is to see what the brake pads do, or actually don't do, hopefully. Yeah, there's absolutely no traction with the cold tires as of now. Side smoothly, especially like usually you would do the first half of the lap slowly anyway, but let alone in these crazy conditions. But by the halfway through the lap, we'll be able to have some warm. Yeah, it's definitely not the best day to go fast.
well, so far I haven't heard a single brake squeak, so I guess that's good. there but again still nothing I cannot believe that this weird method of rubbing the brake pads against each other has helped I'm sure that a lot more has been done by clearing the brake discs to get rid of the old brake pad deposit but still <laughs> No drifting throughout the now forest. I cannot drift anyway. struggling just absolutely zero grip in these conditions Characteristics of the Nürburgring, even though the track goes straight, you can still be unsettled and have your car spin out. No snow, of course, <laughs> but yeah. Maybe it's for the better because you can already see how slippery it is. And the most important thing is seeing how the brake pads perform and yeah, <laughs> it's great. bird there. There's some tiny bit of squealing coming now from the brake pads, but the 
it's because I'm really smooth on them so kind of dragging and not going full on them hey Martin like last week on the first weekend of TF I bought like 20 pictures of race tracker already it was a very expensive <laughs> weekend what I got out of my JK my season ticket by doing laps <laughs> I compensate by buying like a massive amount of pictures <laughs> This section is very nasty in the wet, especially when it's wet and cold. It's so basically out, out, out. Don't try to do the Whipperman challenge, just stay on the outside. Just move through here. This one I hate the most in the wet because you have to run close to the wall downhill. Ugh, disgusting. so many nuances like when you know when the track goes left and right it's one thing and then you start learning the tarmac transitions the bumps that otherwise gonna catch you off guard and especially since every year the track is changing more or less with braking here <laughs> drifting in the mini carousel reminds me of my very first race I think the lap was a success. It was extremely cold, extremely slippery, extremely wet. Unfortunately, we did not have snow because that happened the lap before and I hope to show it to you. But nevertheless, I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Leave your traction control on because even on the straights, you can you, you saw it was flickering. It's There is no use to prove any points on the ring. So enjoy yourselves, stay safe, stay awesome, stay quiet. <laughs> when it comes to brake pads. <laughs> Thank you Endless for helping us out when it comes to tips and um, yeah, see you next time in the upcoming video. Bye-bye